All right, so I should explain what galvanic corrosion is first. So basically what it is, is if you take two materials that are both conductive and you put them in an electrolyte, one will cause the other one to corrode faster. So the one that is more corrosion resistant will cause the one that's least corrosion resistant um, faster. Which is what's cool about this is that things that normally don't corrode on their own will actually be forced to corrode um, because of this. So for example, aluminum versus um, carbon fiber. So carbon fiber will actually make aluminum corrode. But aluminum by itself won't. So and then titanium versus Vanix, Titanium, I've already tested this. Titanium wins, it will, it will cause Vanix to corrode. So for this test, I want to see if H1, which one will, if titanium will make H1 corrode. Uh, and if it does, then later on in the future, I'll do uh, Vanix versus H1 um, and see how that goes. So just a, just a quick um, explanation. All right. Okay, so I sanded these down a little bit more. And actually, which is kind of cool, I found the same piece of titanium as the, the other test, so for whatever that's worth. Okay, so I'm just gonna use alcohol and clean these for this test. I don't know if I have to actually show this. And I only sanded uh, the, the faces on this thing, so not, not the edges. So by any chance, there's like any rust on the sides, that doesn't really matter. Let's do this side. Nope. All right, cool. I'm just gonna put these together. I'm gonna choose, wait, let me actually, I'm gonna let these dry a little bit and then I'll put them together. All right, I'm gonna choose this side since it's the flattest part. Let's see if I don't get this actually cut. Oh. No, my glove. Okay. All right, cool. That's about right. All right. All right, so I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna do uh, 30 milliliters of salt to 700 milliliters of water, which gives me a 4.2% uh, salinity. Uh, this is 15 millimeters, so milliliters, so I'm gonna have to do two of these. I couldn't find the 30 milliliter for whatever reason. So first, I'm gonna put this guy in here all right and then i'm just going to put water in that that little bucket thing until it submerges the the knife all right so oh yeah let me show you the date is 2 6 2022 and it is currently 159 all right so that's one This is going to be kind of boring, but science, I guess. The backhanded four. <laughs> All right. And just like before, this isn't going to like completely dissolve. So I don't know. I could heat it up, I guess, and then make like super saturation. So probably two more of these. This first. All 
Wait, 700. Uh, so the other one was a little bit more than what I thought it was too. Okay, so about that much more. All right, a little bit below. I thought the top line was 700, but nope. Okay, one more, just in case this, because it is it is submerged, but just barely. So just just for any evaporation. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this for the for a week. So next Sunday I'll put up another video, just show you what what it's been up to, I guess. I am gonna move this somewhere else because uh, it is gonna get away here. But yeah, okay. All right, bye.